going on, everyone? Red here. Josh here. Today we're talking about forgotten boutique overdrives. There's so many cool ones. You never hear of them anymore. Yeah. So, what was I? Uh, what was I just playing here? That's the Stamps Drive-O-Matic. Mm. So Stamps Amplification. I've never been able to find much info. Right. I know that for a while, maybe still, Bonnie Raitt's slide tone. Bob Seger. Like, like a rock. rock. <laughs> like a rock, man. I mean. Come on. Yeah. It's a very strange, interesting circuit where there's no clipping diodes, and it's pretty much the sound of an op amp like clipping itself, which is a little bizarre. So before we go any further, yeah. what what is what is boutique? Like how how do we classify boutique? And everything we have here on the table would qualify as like early early yeah. boutique. When we think boutique, I think it is people saying, "I'm tired of this mass-produced stuff. Let's go back." So it was actually like second era. I would say this is. You know, the first pedals, in my opinion, were boutique. Right. So what, when, we, when we think of boutique, this is people honing back to that. So the pendulum swinging back towards yeah. small builders, men and women in their garages, kitchen yep. tables, small shops. Smaller runs, attention to detail. Right. In some cases. Right. I think when this all started, historically, you have Harmony Central. The gear page comes along later. And the first pedals to catch on in those forums, yes, yeah, some of these just caught on like fire. This was in Vintage Guitar Magazine, um, Full Drive 2, and it was just like the first alternative. It, you know, it's cool color and it sounds great, and it's a everybody likes a tube screamer except you mostly. Right. But this is like the modded kind of screamer thing, which a lot of early things were. This is an original thing here. They just caught on. But so this, never I, just, caught on. I just bought one of these on Reverb right before we started making this video. I went on and bought one of these for $90. Yeah, I used to buy uh, in pawn shops. I would see them in the south. I don't, I literally know nothing about stamps. I've never been able to really get to the bottom of it, but it's an amp builder. And if you open it up, it's, I believe it's, no, that one's not gooped. A lot of these are gooped, early <laughs> goop stuff. Yeah, it's a really well made pedal by an amp builder. It's built like a rock, and rock it's cool. Rock. Like a rock, no pun intended. I mean. Yeah, it just didn't catch on. Yeah, I don't know, don't know but why. But it's got, it does a thing. It's got like. I mean, that does anything you would want an overdrive going into a clean amp to do. You yeah. Know? It's super chunky. Right. It's not a pretty smooth drive at all. It's almost in a little, in a few ways. Like yeah. So you have these two gain controls. It makes me think of DoD 250s right. turned all the way up, or a rat. But it's not really like those. Yeah, that's yeah. super cool. That's why I just bought one. Yeah, check it out with this. It's like I've seen this format somewhere. Yeah, this is interesting. It's like somebody else, I feel like, has done this kind of like... Back and forth. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, like what you're just doing. I feel the need to talk with like a like an Australian accent, but I live in yeah England. I know it's but. weird. See these little black toppers? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. That's a hint at very early boot like the 90s boutique uh another big player was way huge right. those obviously are not overlooked but if you 
I have like a red llama and some stuff. They'll have these black toppers and I have original full drives with the black toppers. So when way, you see when, this, it's just a type switch. When Josh says he has some stuff, he means he has all of it. He's got the whole, he's got all of it. A little bit of stuff. So, so this, yeah. Yeah, this is, what, what's going on there's here? Prescription electronics. This is around 96. And there's a guy named James Santiago. Ah. Uh, like, if you've watched the show, I had him on with the UA. He's done the Ox box. He designed the Sparkle Drive. He's involved with like Pedal Power 2s. He's this guy behind the scenes that was friends with all these creatives and uh, way huge as well. And he would just, he did reviews of gear for years. He worked, there's, I, the list is insane. There's almost like hardly anything you can bring up that's not two steps away from James. Right. But this is a guy named Jack, Prescription Electronics. And um, this was his design fully. Uh, this was Jack's company, but George Santiago designed it. And a little factoid is this is actual gold top Les Paul paint. They would paint these in the Gibson factory. My God. Yeah. They're very cool. I'm collecting this lineup. They're really affordable right now. Um, yeah. We'll look uh, on Reverb yeah. and see what we got here. This the, I don't know anything off the top of my head that really does this kind of... It's, I actually don't know much about the circuit. Yeah, I, I'll have to figure out what that is at some point. I wish we had like a decibel meter over our left shoulders that we could tell how much it's, sound was uh, That would be cool. <laughs> Everyone relax, okay? He's That's good. Right there. That is a milkshake, but it's good. See? Yeah, I like that about the matcha. It tastes like dirt. You like farm dirt matcha? I like it in dirt. matcha, not we in coffee. Mm. I want got my it. coffee to taste like ice cream. Now this one, this one has a similar, this is like a really familiar to me for some reason. It's almost like this pedal and that pedal. It's weird. It's, it's weird how they're, and yeah, I, you know, when I bought this, it's weird. It oh, came weird. from a guy. Um, Josh, here's my Clark what's Gainster. Yeah. Satch? I don't know. Zarch? Zarchy? Zarch B. Zarch B? I don't know. Um, my my new pedal, the Olympus, for you to have. I Thanks for all you do. I did just walk away. I'll be right back. He's fine. Anyways, um, whoever this person is, if you could comment below, we'd love to find out more about it's you. It's probably that weirdo. Uh, yeah, that, that guy that's always guy. Yeah, he lives he's in talking Nashville. about like he's like works in his garage and stuff. Wears denim a lot. Yeah, lots of denim. <laughs> like, Overwhelming amount. Kind of too much. Denim. I think it's a take on the OD one ish or the Boss Screamer thing. That I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So Dave Barber. Barber pedals, which we have something we'll show here. Clark, an amp company. We have to open this. Yep. It is one of the most beautiful things to see. It has 1,900 screws. Right. Well, that's to make sure that it's it's tour ready. I think. A lot of these are gooped, which are really fun. This, this is made from amp parts originally. Right. Really impossible to find this. This, uh, like I said, Barber made that for a while. I don't know. It sounds the same, but it doesn't look as pretty. Um, did I just say that on TV? Because looks looks are really how things sound. You did just say that on TV. This is actually going on HSN. I, I just signed uh, a deal yeah. with... Um, you got to deal with Hula. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Wow. That legitimately is beautiful. That's point-to-point -point pedal. Can I zoom in here? We're on auto? Yeah. Let's zoom do in. Get you a zoom. Let's see, let's see what I can do. Look at that. Wow. Somebody do something. Good God. Just look at it. 
stare into its eyes. Yeah, this is an immaculately built point to point, basically a screamer circuit. So, oh, the it's op a two amp, circuit? It's, well, yeah, the OD1. Oh, never yeah, mind. Never mind. I don't like it. The OD1 is the original screamer. I'm pointing at stuff no one can see, but <laughs> an op amp. There's your three clipping diodes, so asymmetrical clipping, big, huge, juicy caps. Yeah, that's where the look how big you can. From. That cap is so big you can pet it. Right. Pet the cap. I know. That really is where the tone is. The tone yeah. lives in those giant caps. If you don't have big caps in your pedals, oh, yeah, you're playing something that's a little subpar, I think. But I'm too tired to put the screws back in. That's fine. So let's move on. Yeah. Our friend Zarch, Broilus from Mythos. Zarch uh, is a good guy. Zarch is a good guy, and and he designed this based off of yeah. the Gainster. And I keep showing it, and then he sends me texts to stop showing it because he doesn't want to build them, but we're showing it again. Yeah. As a pedal builder, I love putting my pedal builder friends in On horrible blast. places. Yeah. Yeah. People think that he's trying to promote other people's brands, but it's really... It's, trying to crush them. Yeah, it's kind sales. of a... Yeah. See, if I take my enemy's brands mm -hmm. and promote them enough, they won't be able to make anything, and it'll crush and them. They'll go under. Yeah. It's a brilliant strategy. Yeah. It hasn't really found out, but... Well, it's a, it's a long game. It's yeah, long real game. long. I'm doing the same thing with YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, why we're on each other's channels. We're right. trying to kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so... All right, now this one I'm really excited about. If anybody knows me, I'm a huge fan girl uh, for anything divided by 13. And a lot of people don't know that Fred, for a time, I think he still is building some pedals. I know he does like yeah. the um, Switch Hazel. This the... is not a Shamrock Shake. I need to clarify yeah. that. What do we got going on here? Joyride is divided by amps. This thing is a color sound power boost. This is like a lot of the David Gilmore is slamming this insanely loud pedal into insanely loud amps. Mm -hmm. And the one problem is it has a really cool distortion sound when you max it. But, it's but when you do that, punishing. It it's one of the it is a painful thing. So what we have here, this drive control is the volume. Right. And then he has a master volume. Right. And it's brilliant. And it's, look at that box. It's just Come beautiful. On. Just a white powder coated, but it's a nice shape. This is not a traditional like yeah, Hammond no, box that we're nice. all used to. And uh, see what it does to a uh, deluxe reverb here. You can tell that's the preamp tubes just holding on for dear life. Yeah, it's like super loud. Now see, I like that. That could be a cool like always on sort of thing. Yeah, that's, that's rad. It's killer. Yeah. So, Try and find one of these online. Not sure what they go for currently. And I guess he doesn't make these anymore because I haven't seen I don't them think for a long so. time. I got I traded somebody something for that years ago. Let's do let's do the hot cake. This is interesting because it predates the rat DS it's seventy six. This, this is, is a 76. this circuit is oh, okay. this is a newer version, but right. there's a couple variations on the circuit. But this idea, the hot cake. Yeah, it's uh this has a broken volume pot, so we're gonna fight with it until That's it fine. works. Yeah. I kind of like that. Yeah. You know, it's the Jack White school of, uh, of thought here. Yeah, so it's cool because you can, it'll also be a tremolo if you want. I'll hold it for you. Okay.
That's yeah. I like that. I'll fix that pot later. So much like the stamps, right? It's just hard clipping an op amp. So there's none of that softness to it. Right. We don't want any softness no. in our softness is for wimps. It's You'll see these. Yeah. They're like every once in a while there'll be some like a you know, some guitar slinger we all know. You'll see it like on the board for a hot minute. Mm -hmm. They're in drawers everywhere. Yeah. This is the Barber Direct Drive. This is around 2002, fall of 2002. Right. To be specific. David Barber, one of the most brilliant uh, drive pedal designers out there. Does not get enough credit. Mm. So you can get this like in a newer version, smaller, circuit's the same. This, this line is really cool. He shrunk things down. Still, you just don't see them again. Right. I don't understand. This is kind of the OG-ish version. He had the burn unit direct drive. There's just just look up Barber stuff. Yeah. This is this is the only drive pedal I I would say in some situations I like more than the Morning Glory. Really? I love this pedal. Oh, interesting. All right. ones you'll see trim pots and stuff on these he kind of lets Split. you do some stuff but right. yeah that's great yeah now circuit wise what's going on here it is an op amp drive that isn't crazy similar to anything but has similarities to everything right. that's as vague as i can say it's just like you know there's it's its own diodes, thing just, but there's hints of yeah other things everything there. is from something this right. is just his take on, you know, op amp and diodes and certain caps and his yeah. flavor. one of those too. Going on here 2003 it is essentially this circuit with absolutely nothing but what makes the overdrive which is kind of cool when you get into this circuit you have input output buffers switching he like stripped all of that out and it's just this very simple the bare necessities of a soft clipping overdrive the circuit. Simple bare necessities. It's just a bare... Oh, sorry, that got you flagged. Yeah, sorry. We don't want to do that. that. Yeah, don't worry about your uh, worries and your strife. So, why is something like this overlooked? Because... This one's on the verge. I think some people would argue it wasn't overlooked, but I don't see enough of them. There's a lot of circuits that were, like, almost huge. And I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Well, it's a great pedal. Yeah. You can find one. Check them out. And it seems to me that, like, I I, I like Tube Screamer adjacent pedals. There's right. just something about the green box that maybe it's the color green at all. This is fun. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm this, enjoying myself. Yeah. I hope they're enjoying this free entertainment yeah. that we're slaving over right this now. This is free. Totally free. Pro Analog Dual Drive. Now this I'm excited to see because this to me aesthetically, this says early 2000s, mm -hmm. super boutique. It is. It's Scotty. Uh, his name is Scotty Pro Analog. Very front runner on this stuff. Yeah. Love Bark it. and bite knob. The font. And then you pull that knob for fat, spelt with a P. So what's going on here? I don't know. I don't oh. know what the circuit is. Love I it. think it's gooped pretty heavily. 
maybe it's not. Some of these are and some aren't. I want to do an episode on Goop mm. one day. I'm too tired to do that right now. Yeah. We just want to write a country song, mm. you know? It's that kind of sound. It does. Yeah, it, it holds together really well with the neck humbucker, which I think is, that to me is a sign of a really great overdrive Oh, circuit. the humbuggy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when it holds together and it's still, like, articulate and not too muddy, that's yeah. a sign of a great overdrive. Hit it. So if I pick lightly. Yeah. That would be a buzzword, touch sensitive. Touch sensitive. Like right. a lot of people I know. Right. Yeah, I'm very I'm very touch sensitive actually. I don't yeah, like being touched. But nice. What do we got next? This last will be the least. last. Oh my god. And I think this is one of the most overlooked things in Pedaldom. 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 The Reverend Drive Train. Now this I've never heard of. Never seen. I'm so excited for you. This looks about as boutique as it gets here. Is this relict? That is old. That is very old. Wow. It's not very old. It's like, I think it was 2000. So you have visual sound. Right. Which I think fits in this, kind of, in a weird way. They did get big, but this is totally forgotten. Right. This is a sick, nasty, good pedal. Right. Um, the original baseball home plate models. This screamer is amazing, and that comp is amazing. Right. And these were very early, like, these were early boutique being sold in stores, and he had dealers. This right. is a big part of pedal history that gets overlooked. Um, so this guy, Bob Weil, he created first the visual volume, which is this giant, you know, it looks like a surfboard, and it has right. LEDs for the volume. And he does these pedals. He does the Jekyll and Hyde and all this. Well, he gets a call from the Reverend Amp Company. They were friends. I don't know the guy's name. Make me a drive i want it to be a screamer thing but take out the crappy tone control and put in this treble bass thing right and yeah. to me it's classic killer on bass guitar as well really yeah <laughs> Eggles. The Eggles are so good, Eggles man. are so good. What's with, what's with the switch here? Probably clipping. Again, I, that's a tube screamer that I like. You want to know a, an insider secret? Please. It's for all your viewers. I'm doing this for your viewers. This is really hard to find. Actually, don't I see them very rarely. And people kind of pay too much for them. It is cool. The visual sound later released this line called Garage Tone. Not the greatest name. Mm -hmm. They look a little weird, and they were sold too cheap. He actually shouldn't have sold them so cheap because they're actually so good. Right. There's some confusion. This is called the Garage Tone Drivetrain Overdrive. It's the same exact thing. And on reverb, before this episode, they're like 40 bucks. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, buy a few of them. Yeah. Insider trading, like fifty bucks. Oh yeah. People just didn't take it seriously because it was fifty dollars. Right. But the thing with Bob is everything he makes sounds killer, and it's all metal enclosures. Like the guy that helps also with his designs is this as another guy is a legend. None of all the visual sound stuff is so underrated, and Bob's designs are underrated. So this is kind of a hack on 
What does it cost? They're ninety. This one, somebody asked really? me ninety nine. They, gonna, I've seen them. I think I gave thirty forty for that. Right, but nine, I mean, hundred bucks. We should I, should I make an offer here? Fifty. Fifty. I probably won't take it. Okay, that's fine. Keep in mind, we're we're doing some insider trading here. So. Yeah, it's stocks. It's, it's yeah. hard for a lot of people. Just keep the, the FTC off of this yeah, video. We'll be okay. Um, My Bitcoin comes in the mail today. Oh really? Yeah. Did you get like the the gold ones? Uh, silver and gold. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Let me see. I haven't played it in a while. I had one on a board for like a hot minute. It, ha it has all the the creamy tube screamer thing, but because of this EQ, you will never get a screamer to do this. Well, there you go, guys. Those are some overlooked boutique drive pedals that hopefully with this video, the help of this video, will be overlooked no longer. Now they're just looked. Now they're just, they've been looked at a few times. What you've times. been doing is looking. Yeah. So they're no longer overlooked. So you're welcome. And if you're trying to sell one of these right now and you catch this video, good luck. And you're welcome. Uh, thank you, Josh, for Uh, thanks to Josh for having us over. That was a le left hand just threw me. Let's we do could, it again. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, thank you, Josh. Uh, subscribe to the JHS show. Yeah. Listen, if you're watching this video, you already. Know. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But um, this has been fun, man. It has. I love this stuff. I've been wanting to do this episode, and I just never do it, so we did it, and that's killer. Listen, anytime you have an episode that you want to do but you won't do, let me know, and I'll jump on I have plane. one about how batteries change sound, and... We might should do that. We should probably do that. Yeah. We got time. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. See you on the next one.